All right, we should be live. We're back. <clears throat> We're gonna do another alchemy draft. The last one went so well. Uh, most of the games were really good, and I had fun, but wow, that one game was so bad. It's like, what is the worst possible thing that could happen? Well, my opponent could play Grenzo and hit the strongest card in my deck on their first try. I'm already a little bit behind on board and just kill me on the spot, basically. <clears throat> oh, hey, is that the perpetual power booster again? Are we actually going to be able to run it this time? I'll, I'll bring it up so you can read it, but... So, if nothing else, this thing is just an absolute monster. And... It will make your other cards also much better, so... We're just going to take that and immediately get past Path to Exile. Uh, nurturing Pixie, Requisition Raid is fine, Mystical Tether, Goose King, Inspiring Vantage. These are, I mean, the Goose King's actually decent, but not the best. But yeah, Path to Exile. He's in the wrong colors for what he wants you to do, because white-black would be able to sacrifice a lot of tokens for him, so you'd have to be, like, weird five-color pile, or <clears throat> you have to get, like, the five-drop artifact that just makes artifact tokens, so you have tons of things to sacrifice to him. Because <clears throat> blue-green doesn't even make a ton of treasures, really, so... Yeah, Goose King, not exactly... Like, he's fine just for what he is, you know get to loot two cards and then make a food and then he gets a permanent power and toughness boost. Hello, Fibblethip. How are you? Do I want Fibblethip, though? I don't think Survivalist is at its best in blue-white. It's fine. Bounding Felidar, also fine, but not amazing. I think I just might want to take up the shield and stay in white until I see some better cards. Fibblethip can be really good. Um, he can also just show you that you've got lands coming up, and that's, like, actually the worst. Yeah, well, there we go. There, there's Triumph and Getaway. Which I... Th was that the card that sidetracked me last time? I don't think so. I think it was the... Um, the red box maker. Um, I do love Marauding Sphinx. Marauding Sphinx is ridiculous. Uh, Mystical Tether is really good and lets me stay in white. I guess I'm going to stay in white for right now until I have a really good reason. I do like Marauding Sphinx a lot, though. And that's more in line with what I would want with Prairie Survivalist, a large flyer <clears throat> that's difficult to interact with. I mean, form a posse... One of my favorite red-white cards in the set. I do like red-white a lot, I'll be honest. <clears throat> and Form of Posse is just one of those cards that I really genuinely enjoy playing with. Um, oh, there's another flyer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, another early creature I can play. That lets me sculpt my hand a little bit better. Some okay black cards, another okay blue card. <clears throat> the blue card I've never felt the actual need to play. Yeah, I think it's just going to be the Peddler. Smooth out the draws a little bit. <clears throat> Simulacrum Synthesizer. Need the expensive artifacts to make that thing work. I'm not going to run Ferocification. I'm not a huge fan of the Supplier, so I think I'm just taking the Mythic. Just in case. And towards the gem count. It's more towards the gem count. <clears throat> Odds are I will not be running it. Hey, right, well, there's a Void Ren now. If I wanted it to make me sad about not being white, blue, splash a little black. <clears throat> I'm just going to take the steer clear. Yeah, I just ate like half an hour ago and now, now I'm all phlegmy. I apologize for that. <clears throat> I don't think I want a second take up the shield. Blue has been a lot more open than red because most people don't like blue, so... 
I'm going to take the tempo card just in case. All right, I really like having the pixie when I have cards like Mystical Tether, because then I can exile, like, a Tumbleweed token or bow or something, and then pick it back up and put it down again for even more value. Requisition Raid, also super tempting to destroy things like Mystical Tether and whatnot, and some of the more broken artifacts. Yeah, I think I want the pixie, though. <clears throat> All right, um... Yeah, I don't care for Ruined Obelisk at all. We will take the Stop Cold just in case. <clears throat> um, Probably not double spelling all that often, so... Gonna Fool's Falls. <clears throat> mm, I never really like Outlaw's Fury that much. Just building an entire blue deck in my sideboard, don't don't mind me. <clears throat> well, there's a second form of posse. Another requisition raid. This time when it wheels, I'll probably take it, because it's not <clears throat> there's nothing um good enough in the pack that could wheel. Like, yeah, I wouldn't mind a holy cow, but <clears throat> um Spur Brute. Or Thunder Salvo. I like both of them. I think we're going to take the Brute, though. <clears throat> we can usually get him out pretty cheaply. We have a bunch of... We have one Mercenary, two Rogues. Okay, maybe we don't. I thought we did. Or maybe we just don't have enough creatures. That's a Human Scout. That's the Rogue. Yeah, we just don't have enough creatures. Never mind. <clears throat> the problem is not that we don't have enough Outlaws... Percentage-wise, the problem is, is that we don't have enough outlaws or creatures at all, period. You know what's not going to make that any better? This prairie dog. Uh, I could also take a Rassable Wolverine. <clears throat> Get me some more card draw. But it's one of those two, and that's not great. Yeah, sorry, Outlaw Medic. Really not feeling it. Eh, give me the prairie dog. I want the more aggressive creatures <clears throat> when I already have a survivalist. <sighs> Don't care for any of these. He's not even an outlaw. He's a soldier. <clears throat> Why are you so bad, Sterling Supplier? Why? Like, honestly, I kind of want to take the Rakish Crew, because I have two form of posse already, and that can get really out of hand really quickly. <clears throat> Alright, so this is an okay removal spell. Not amazing. Uh, there's another Mystical Tether. Part of me wants to take this to make the Rakish Crew more viable. <clears throat> And yeah, I think I'm going to do that. We also have plenty of blue cards, so if any of them are worth splashing... <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah, I don't like any of these. We're just going to take the rare. Oh, there's Baron Bertram. Who goes incredibly well with my former posse and my rakish crew. <clears throat> All right. Uh, don't really care for Skull Duggery. I think I need this Highway Robbery. If I'm gonna run these cards. I might need to like draw cards and fix my mana. All right, we did wheel the Requisition Raid. I have two form of posses and Bertram now <clears throat> to make that work. Um, two plus O. We're getting some Menace and Haste. Hmm. Let's take the bird. Up cold, two gins. I have the artifacts for this one.
Yeah, I think this is one of the ones that reads the strongest and plays the weakest out of all of them, because there just aren't that many, like, high casting cost artifacts. Okay, maybe I will take Brimstone Roundup. I am, though, seriously tempted to take the Medic, because it has lifelink and just pump it with all of my tokens. I don't think that would be terrible either. Actually, yeah, that might be better. <clears throat> I just don't have the resources to keep double spelling on multiple turns. So I probably only make like two or three tokens out of it at most. And most games I have to imagine I would make one. <clears throat> you know, plot it, draw a spell, cast the spell, play the or play the um play the roundup first and then cast the spell that I drew. Um Right now, the black is a splash, so... <clears throat> unfortunate accident. <clears throat> Ugh. Probably not happening, so we're just gonna take the shepherd here. Get back things like my survivalist and such. <clears throat> um... Eh, hell to pay is fine. But this pack is also terrible. I might just want the abraded bluffs, honestly. Like... Even red-white fixing makes it easier to run an extra swamp or two. <clears throat> so, first strike lifelink. Enters the battlefield. The next creature spell target opponent cast... Or non-creature spell target opponent cast. Costs two more to cast. Is this actually better than Aranx? Probably not. But neither one of them are going to wheel. <clears throat> also, I can just keep buffing it with the... Prairie Survivalist, it'll be fine. This way I'll be running alchemy cards. <sighs> this is not correct. I should just take the air anks. <laughs> like, after all of that, I should just be taking the air anks. <clears throat> it can also gain first strike and benefit from the power boost and just keep pushing damage forever. Also, because this thing can buff itself, but we'll get to the part where... Um... It'll be buffed, and the other thing will be buffed, and it'll be able to crew it, and it'll be able to attack for more damage. <sighs> Can't afford to run a murder here. Desert Stew is a little more palatable. <sighs> I don't want to take a Gardener, so that kind of leaves me with the Medic, the Desert Stew, <clears throat> or taking a murder I can't comfortably cast. <sighs> and let's take the Medic. Not thrilled about it. Um, well, <clears throat> there are no, no, sorry, no white cards, no red cards. So if I'm going to splash for something, I think it's Heartless Pillage. Out of all of these. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll get, I'll clear the throat out eventually, I promise. Like, it's taking forever, but... How many ways do I have to just randomly deal some damage? Does Raker's crew deal damage or make them lose life? Lose life. Okay. <clears throat> so I have an abraded bluffs right now. Alright, fine. We'll take the pair then. Would not mind a mourner surprise, but the pair is definitely a card my deck will do the best with. E-Keeper and Deadeye Duelist. Hmm. Take the Duelist here. And this is our last chance and there is no more fixing. Alright. <clears throat> I don't think I'm running any of these, so... Maybe, maybe the fake your own death. <clears throat> but probably not. Um, I do like binding negotiation. <sighs> Might just need to take Lackey, though. As another early creature. Because I won't be able to cast negotiation, like in the early turns of the game, very often, if at all. So. Not running the second one of those, so I guess we just take the uncommon. Rare. Maybe. 
Hey. <clears throat> ah, just gotta keep choking, apparently. <sighs> Alright. We have 43 cards. So let's do a little T colon creature and figure out where I'm actually at. <clears throat> The pillage is really difficult to cast. In like the early game when they have no cards. I'm wondering if I ditch the pillage. Leave the crew because of the form of posse and the Bertram is also fine. I make enough tokens. <clears throat> also this can make a token or be used to cast Bertram if I need it that badly, so. <clears throat> then we can go down a little bit on the swamp. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, but three of them make creatures, so. I'm okay there. I don't really care for Sterling Supplier at all. It's not terrible by any means. It's like the 23rd card to make my deck a lot of the time, but... <clears throat> and we don't really care about committing crimes. The only upside to the Duelist is it guarantees a point of damage when we don't have anything better to do. But I think I'm fine cutting it. It's also an outlaw for the Rakish crew, whereas... Um, the Prairie Dog, or the Aranx wouldn't be, but... Uh, we have Nurturing Pixie and Reckless Lackey. But we have more early white cards than red. Hey, right, I think that's good enough. Hey, right. <clears throat> I do love me some red-white form of posse, but... We don't have any of the really good bombs... So, our only actual bomb is the stupid 2-mana 0-1 flyer that keeps pumping things forever. And even that's not amazing, because it dies to almost anything. You know, Desert Stew, um, the damage equal to the number of spells you've cast, plus 2, uh, Thunder Salvo, uh, Stiff Breeze kills it. Oh, that ain't planes. All right. Hmm. I have to highway robbery next turn, discarding the peddler. Yeah. All right. Discard a card. Okay, then. <sighs> oh, my opponent's taking a lot of time to set up, but apparently there's literally no land in my deck, so... Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen cards I've looked at now. That thing even has Ward 2 because of the stupid enchantment. <laughs> okay. Alright. Sure, Arena. Whatever. I need my opponent getting like 10 free cards a turn between the enchantment and actually getting to heist my deck each turn, so. 
I mean, there's zero way I'm winning this game, yeah. This is, like, infinity turns too late, so... Um... I can't bounce a land, right? Uh, return one target non-fairy, non-land permanent. Okay. Oh, right, even gains Vigilance because it's the only creature on the table. So... And it doesn't even have to connect, it just has to attack alone, so yeah. No, this is great. So they get two spells to their hand and they have to discard a card. <clears throat> There's absolutely no way for me to win this game anymore. <clears throat> But it's going to take a while for me to die. <sighs> oh good, now they can use all those spells to get some lands. Uh... On bright side, it took their vigilance away to do that. Hey. Like, there's a part of me that wants to, like, discard one of these to draw another card. Like, pick it up with the pixie and put it back down again. Hey, let's just run this out. We're gonna take a ton of damage. Also note that they don't have to, um, I was going to say, they don't have to just attack, or they don't have to, what am I trying to say? They can have two creatures in play, if they only attack with one, they still get the two cards from the effect of this. It's just that they have to only have one creature for it to have Vigilance and the extra ward, so. So yeah, they can... They can attack with just the 7-7 seven, seven here and get the two extra cards. And this is one of those, like, they're never going to deck because they have way too many cards to kill me with. So, if they get anywhere close to that, I still won't win the game. Yep. It's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Like, I could have conceded this game, like, a minute and a half ago and just saved myself time, but, you know. Where would the fun be in that? Um... Yeah, Alright, let's pick up the 2-2. Two -two. Replay the 2-2. Two -two. Um, discard the prairie dog, I suppose. All right, did find another white source. We played this. All right, so if they have no counter spells, oh well, yeah, you gotta go find a land. You can't get land with the other card. Okay, now they're going to start attacking with everything. Because now it's lethal to do so. Alright. And they already have, you know, 10 trillion spells in their hands, so... Okay, I don't know why you let me block. But sure. <laughs> I appreciate getting the block there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I have to chump, 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 and probably chump again, but, you know. One, two, three, and sure, why not? Maybe I should have 
triple block it just to try and kill it and make them spend another card there. Sure. Oh, good. And now they have lethal in the air. Alright, you got it. Like, you had it. Like I said, I lost this game when I didn't draw my planes the fourth turn in a row. But we had to keep going for a little while. Ah, uh, I was miserable. I don't know if I would have been able to put enough pressure on them fast enough if I had drawn my planes, but I certainly died because I didn't, so. <clears throat> like, it's fine. I literally get multiple turns plus multiple redraws at it. Could not find a planes. And found a swamp before my second planes. Are you serious with this right now, Rena? Whatever. Now, nah, fine. Whatever. <clears throat> I ain't even mad anymore. I'm I'm too frustrated to be mad. I might have to discard that just because I don't have But that is another planes. All right. Hey. Right. If I don't draw the Black Mana Source, like, next turn I'm discarding the Rakish Crew to Highway Robbery to look for more action. Yep, yeah, that is a 2-3 in the face of my multiple 2-2s. Two Alright, let's discard a card. Alright, Requisition Raid, not actually bad here. Especially if they go for an enchantment-based removal, like they try and ramp with, what's its name? Um, buried in the Garden. They're just like, fine, I'll get rid of your one guy and get more mana next turn so I can cast my big stupid thing like an armadillo. And, of course, I discarded a bunch of lands before looking for spells, so my 5-drop is uncastable. A sorcery. Really don't want to just cast Requisition Raid to put counters on my 2-2s. With nothing else going on. <clears throat> yep. I would be thrilled if they killed my guy here. Honestly. Alright. Fine. <clears throat> we have Path, so they play a actual threat. I can kill it. Uh, that seems unlikely without double green. I'm actually going to let that happen, because I have the Shepherd in my hand. If they attack me for three, I get to hit them for three and gain a life back. So they're basically only hitting me for two here. Holy cow. I'd be okay with that if they want to trade for my other 2-2 two -two here. Yeah, I think it is holy cow. Okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. So I had something there that they didn't want to use. Fierce Retribution, maybe? Yeah, no, I will trade two damage here all day long. Of 
Unfortunately, I don't think there are any, like, terrifying giant artifact creatures they could play that I would get to blow up here and keep pushing damage, but... Okay. That's fine. Sack your guy, kill one of my guys. Yeah, that's... That is A-OK. -okay. Five mana to be able to put an extra counter. Hey, we're chipping away. It's not like we can't handle their first terrifying giant creature. Their second terrifying giant creature is where the problem's going to arise. But their, like, Cactarantula or whatever isn't going to be an issue. Deal. Trash the town? No? Okay. Trash the town, I would probably path to exile their dude there. Because then it's a five power creature and they're drawing two cards, so... Oh, hey, Fifth Land. How's it going? Yeah, I'll trade the Prairie Dog for the Holy Cow. If they actually had it. It'd be weird if they did have it that entire time and didn't just cast it that one turn. Ah! And deal four damage to it. Um, yep, yeah, okay. So there's no point in getting it back anymore, because its entire text box is perpetually blanked, but... We can still get back, um... Either the Gardener or the Discerning Peddler. Uh, I guess we get back the Gardener, since I don't want to discard either of these right now. Okay, if they attack me for three and have nothing, I get to win, or have, like, one big creature. Because I'll be able to path it, requisition rate, and attack them for exactly ten. Alright, that's step one. Take three. Tap out for one big creature that doesn't actually, like, make bodies or anything or kill one of my creatures. Oh, they do have Buried in the Garden. Okay. That still works. Um, so white and two. Oh, awesome. All right. So cast this out. Play my land. Um, destroy target enchantment, plus one counter on all my guys. I believe I get the horse back also. Like it goes in order, but maybe, maybe I don't get it back in time. Okay, I do get it back in time. Awesome. Um, then we will take the Peddler, because it has game text, and I don't need the lands. And cut them in half. In theory. Are you going to finally play whatever card it is you've been holding on to? No? Okay. Just checking. They're going to die with that card in their hand at this rate. Uh, yeah, I have no reason to block. I'm tapped out. You got Requisition Raid, or not Requisition Raid, um, Crash the Town now. Alright. Yeah, sure, let's take away one of their blockers so that way, just in case. Just in case, they, so that way they can't block one, kill another, and stay alive at, like, one life or something. They'll need to give them an extra turn. Alright. 
won 50% of our games so far. None of our alchemy cards have shown up. I have one entire alchemy card. I almost had two. It was really close. I did not take the 2 2 first strike. Dude, and he did not wheel, so. But the one alchemy card I have is really cool, so if it could be bothered showing up, that'd be neat. No? None of that? Shame on me. Uh, I really want to keep this, so I'm going to, but. Oh, good. Yeah, this is gonna. This is going to go well for me. I can already tell. And heist a card from my deck. Okay, I discarded lock picker. Hey, okay. play out the medic. I do actually need lands. Is the problem. Oh, so they just drafted the entire heist deck. Got it. Um. Well, this game's going to be really brutal for me. Because they're just going to steal my entire deck and kill me with it now. And there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I'm going to have to keep playing lands every turn and form as many posses as is humanly possible and kill them with Rakish Crew. Because that is the only way I'm winning this game right now. Massage Bandit, so they can steal more cards from my deck. Um, yeah, I just take four. I get a card from my deck. I get a spell from my deck, specifically. Which makes it easier for me to draw land every turn, I guess. Alright. That is, in fact, a pretty good one. Me more land. Nope. Okay. Oh, they stole my mystical tether. Which means they're gonna hit my O1. Which is actually pretty good for me, because they're stealing my O1, but yeah, they're just gonna jack my entire deck here. Uh two, three, four, five, six. Yep. On the bright side, they can't get my form of posses because they're both in my hand, but... Yeah, I'm just going to lose to them stealing my entire deck now. Why can't I open any of these? I saw one. Like, the blue-black-red enchantment, and that was it. That was the totality of the um, cards that I drew. Yep. <sighs> Oh, do they have my path to exile, too? Because it's giving them priority on one mana, so... Hey. Make two guys. Two guys doesn't feel like enough, but... At the same time, I'm not doing enough by only casting one of these two, so... Yeah, they did get my path. Alright. Which grows both of their creatures. I'd love to take action. Thank you for asking. Uh... Yeah, I'm just dead here because they just cast all of my own spells against me. Oh, cool. And now whenever this guy makes a treasure, they make a 1-1 lifelinker. Okay, we're done here. We were done before, because they played this thing and I had no answer for it, but we're very, very done here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
have three, four, five points of damage on board. Yeah, we can't kill them. This hand was too slow for what they're doing. Yeah, okay. I can't get, like, one card like this half the time, and they got three of them. That's just so absurd. Why can't I get in the draft pods where nobody wants the heist deck, and I just get to have it? Honestly, I don't even want that. I just want Grenzo, because he's all the heist card I would ever need. Like, Grenzo's infinitely more absurd. But yeah, we've had the Raven, and that's been, like, our only... Actually, no, they didn't have two. I'm sorry, they had two. One of those was a bandit. Never mind. They didn't get three of them. Or maybe they did, but I didn't actually see the third one. The one was a Visage bandit, to be fair. So, yeah. So, opening two of them isn't unreasonable. Getting three is very difficult, though. <clears throat> because most of the time you don't see them, and when you do, it's usually the three-color one. Because <clears throat> nobody's quite ready to commit that hard. Alright. Oh, this hand is weak. <laughs> it doesn't get run over, though, and I do have, like, two of the cards I really want to have in this deck, so. I was on the draw, so I get an extra look. Alright, fine, we're running it out. I am not thrilled at all, but... Oh, uh, they're gonna give it minus one and draw a card? Or can give it minus one and draw a card? Because they didn't get priority to counter it, but they did get priority to respond to it, so... Hey! That damage in... It's going to be super relevant later on. But they've taken like a handful of damage when I suddenly am attacking with like a five power fairy here. And yeah, we're just going to try and kill this. No reason not to. It's annoying enough if they have the spells and if they don't, yeah. Like, I wasn't stopping Krom with that anyway. I have like one Aranx in my deck, so... Alright, ship the turn back. White, red, and three. Put counters on everybody. It's another thing that gets in my way. Uh, I'm just about to go one and three with this deck, aren't I? Like, I have some really good cards, and they have really good synergy... But, wow, were they just not matching up well with anything our opponents were doing, so. Yeah, sure. Give me an extra damage, that's fine. Draw your cards. can I hold this thing for before I have to use it? One more turn? Like, max one more turn? They didn't deal a damage to me. Wait, could they not? Did they, they cast this last turn? They highlighted it, and then I didn't take a damage, so I was thinking that they passed on the option to, but... I think it was still summoning sick from being cast last turn, was what it was, so. I think we're still fine in that regard. Hey, they draw some cards. Play another spell. Uh, 
I mean, Breaches isn't that bad if they don't have a way to make artifacts. I did lose to Breaches plus um, Magda that one time, though. That was really rough. <sighs> Taking four down to 12, yeah. Hey. Is a tether, but I think we want to do this first now. Get the bodies on board. Because I can tether plus um, take up the shield next turn to gain a ton of life off of the pixie by getting rid of one of their blockers if they don't attack with everything. And if they do attack with everything, hooray, they're out of my way and I can get through for damage and gain a bunch of life and then like tether crom. Still not great, but... Alright. And their second spell is... Something that kills the pixie. Just to make me sad inside. Yep. Oh, and they even have an artifact they can sacrifice if they want to. Try and draw another card. Or just kill another one of my creatures. You know, whichever. Sure. Okay. This was not my draft, apparently. Uh, so I supposed... I don't even think I'm supposed to kill Krom is the problem. Okay, let's trade everything for Breaches then. Get him off the table. Kill Krom... Hit them with a 1-3 that pings me, and six cards in hand, five cards in hand, I can't tell. Six cards in hand. There we go. There, there's the highlight to make it easier to tell with the artwork on them. Alright, um... I think I have to discard Bertram here, and then just draw the Swamp. See if I get any better options here. The answer was no. Hey. Right side, if they counter this, at least I can path the Krom still. If I'm not dead. They're bouncing their own Krom in response. So they get him back, but I haven't targeted yet, so I get to eat their 1-3? Okay. That's fine. Fine with that. They have a second Breaches, which they cast before Krom. <clears throat> uh, yep. Doesn't matter, I'm going to lose to all of this because I have a bunch of spells that do nothing in my hand because I'm so far behind and I have no bodies. Alright. I accept. So, we have to kill one of the two with Path to not be dead here. First, they're gonna kill my thing, though. Alright. Let's see if they bother crewing the Gila monster first. He did not. Okay. Okay. Yep, 
Yeah, we were not winning that game at all, so. Uh. Oh, that was terrible. I had an awful time. Let's do it again. <laughs> but hopefully this time with a much better deck. So let's go open our pity pack. We'll see what we get out of it. Oh, cool. We finished our dailies, too. So we get a Thunder Junction pack. A cool... And this thing has... Ruby Collector. And a Resolute Rejection. Alright, so that'll do it for this draft. Uh, if you're watching this live, give me a minute. But if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day.